Forza fans, we are back. The Forza man is back. He's ready for another road trip. Now, I want to apologize to everybody for not posting for a while lately. Uh, there's been a couple of reasons for that. One, work has just been way too busy to get out and do much. And the second reason is I don't want to just um, do random videos of just riding around my neighborhood or riding around the area if I do go out. Um, I want to bring you uh, more interesting videos, videos of something a, a little more than just going around the block. I mean, everybody can do that. And I don't want to bore you to death. This is probably boring enough. So we're, we've got the BMW C650 GT and she's ready to go. And what we are going to do this year is we are going to do a ride the north trip. So last year we did Gas Bay. I just got back from a trip around Nova Scotia, so I don't need to do Nova Scotia again right away. So one thing we haven't done, and I've been kind of lured and tempted by the, the tourism videos, is to go ride the north. Uh, I'm not sure how well this is gonna go because uh, there's supposed to be thunderstorms up there and all this kind of stuff. Uh, it's when you ride up north, uh, you, you do have to contend with weather and wind and rain and uh, the weather changes at the drop of a hat. So let's just hope it goes well. There's also going to be a twist on this one too. We are going to take extra video equipment and we are going to try and do some real drone photography and some, some more professional style photography than what we've been doing since I'm going to be in a scenic area and that's really... The main reason for being up there is the scenery and, and the adventure. So here we go, like I did last time. Now last time I went through all my stuff before a trip and we found out that uh, when you're going camping it's a whole lot more stuff than when you're just going motelling. Well this time we are just going to motel it and then that way I don't have to bring all this camping gear and sleep on the hard ground and all that kind of stuff. I don't have to do that. Um, that's great for a 23 year old, but uh, you know, I'm getting a little older now and I can afford to motel it as I go. The adventure part of it is going to be, I'm not reserving anything. The only thing I've got reserved is the ferry ride for tomorrow, just to make sure I get on the ferry. Other than that, we're flying by the seat of our pants. We're going where we go. We're going as far as we feel like going for the day. And that's the whole point. You don't want any schedules, any restrictions. You go when you want to go. You turn when you want to go, you stop when you want to stop. And you just try and enjoy that freedom. I even have the leeway of how long I'm going for. I can go for three or four days. I can go for up to nine days if I want. I probably won't, but uh, that's another freedom. I can take as long as I want or as little as I want. I get back when I get back. So that's a nice thing about this trip. That's the adventure of this trip we're gonna do. So I will quickly go through this stuff. I will, uh, try and process and up upload this video tonight before I leave and that'll sort of be a teaser for you guys and in about a week or so when I get back uh, we will put up all kinds I'll have all kinds of footage for lots of Forza Man episodes of his ride the north journey so ride the north is coming so stay tuned thank you for subscribing uh, I've noticed that even though I haven't put up a few videos in a while I'm still picking up a few more subscribers I want to thank you people for hanging in there and uh, we're going to deliver for you. So here's what I'm bringing this time around for just a ride the north motel and trip. Okay. So obviously, number one, the rain suit. I have a feeling I'm going to need that because it's supposed to get rainy up there. We've got our tie straps. One thing I learned from previous trip with the tie straps is that before I was putting all the stuff on the back here with bungee cords and sure it looked all well and cool and secure when I was leaving but what happened is the bungee cords get loose the stuff jostles around as you're going over bumps and things and there was a couple of times where the stuff actually fell off and so it was a pain and I found what works better is a solid cranking tie strap like that than to try and bungee cord your stuff on the on the seat especially when I'm going to be carrying this uh, expensive camper equipment I don't want that bouncing down the highway so we got some good tie straps this is a bike cover again preparing for the rain I got a road map just in case GPS quits or all else fails never leave without a road map uh, nice uh, lock this is in case I want to lock my bike somewhere or I want to lock my helmet to the bike 
I've got some a rag, a couple of rags, and a couple of softer towels which are good for wiping up bugs and things like that off the windshield. We are our tire pressure gauge. And this time, here's something new. I picked up this uh, little uh, air compressor, which I could plug into the bike. See all the cords and everything are tucked into it. Um, plug that into the in, into the bike outlet, and you can pump up a tire if you get a flat. Of course, if you get a flat, you're going to need a repair kit. Now this came in a great big box, the repair kit, but I just I had to downsize it to save room. So that's why this weird looking T-shaped thing. Uh, this is actually the tools for repairing. Uh, a puncture if you got a puncture in your tire that's everything you need that and then that's kind of like the glue that goes with it so if I get a flat hopefully I'm prepared that I could actually fix it on the side of the road if it's not too bad of a gash if it's just a, a nail or something like that I may be able to keep going now we're just bringing a nice big towel because like I said I'm anticipating getting wet here's a chair just in case it's not pouring rain at some point and I want to sit somewhere for a bit maybe for my droning and whatnot in here I just have a few basic tools um, just uh, I probably could bring more but again I'm trying to keep it minimal just a you know a, a, a nut driver um, flat screwdriver Phillips screwdriver and some pliers I don't know if I need more than that then I'm calling CAA uh, here we got a nice extra ultra bright flashlight this is something new as well. I'm part of the BMW uh, Motorists of America and it also extends into Canada and this is the 2018 anonymous book. If you ever need help from anybody in your area there's phone numbers of people that have signed up to help any bike guy any guy on a bike that uh, needs help or needs a place to camp or any anything like that wants to hook up with somebody uh, the numbers are in there and that's only available to members uh, so that's why they call it the anonymous book. It's not just for anybody to call them. It's only BMW uh, MOA members. Uh, I'm bringing, of course, uh, this is a mixture of windshield cleaner, like glass cleaner, and some uh, some of that bug juice that you get for getting the bugs off your windshield. I kind of mix the two together. That should work pretty good. A neck sock, just in case it gets a little cold and wet. I'm hoping I don't have to use it. First aid kit. Here's some bug repellent in case I do stop somewhere and do some droning or some photography. I'm going to need to keep the bugs off my head. Um, I'm not bringing camping stuff and I'm not bringing food. But what I want to do is just to be able to pull over at some rest stop somewhere or when I'm droning or something like that. I'd like to be able to at least just make myself a cup of tea. So I'm bringing my good tea with me. And this is one of them little Bunsen burner kits. It's got a little, couple little pots in it. Uh, and uh, I'm just going to set it. I have to stop at uh, Canadian Tire tomorrow and just get the fuel for it. But just just that so I can heat up a little bit of water and use a tea infuser and make a decent cup of tea so I don't have to rely on whatever I find out on the road. Duct tape. I don't know why I'm bringing duct tape. Just always bring duct tape and always bring tie straps. I have no idea why. I'm just bringing them. And you never know. Reading glasses. If you need reading glasses, it's good to bring them, reading your cell phone and whatnot. Just a basic fork, knife and spoon, a lighter, some sunscreen, going to spend some long hours on the road and if the sun does come out, you're going to need that. Some notepads and pens, a couple of extra bungee cords for whatever. And then these are like uh, loaf around shoes for when I'm stopped and if my feet start getting sore in the bike shoes, which are there, I can switch to the softer loaf around shoes to give my feet a break. Sometimes those bike shoes, they get hard on the feet and it starts to hurt. Toilet paper, I'm going to put that in, in plastic, just emergency toilet paper on the road. Some big garbage bags. I might use these actually to cover that gear because like I say, I'm, I'm anticipating getting rained on. Now we got uh, extra pants, extra t-shirts, one sweatshirt and a swimsuit just in case it does get nice. Socks and underwear, that's all good. I am bringing the extra gas can because once again, I am going into uncharted territory and I'm looking on the map and I'm Googling gas stations and nothing's coming up on some of these long roads between Timmins and Wawa and places like that. Uh, this isn't gonna get me very far, but 
I figure maybe it'll be a lifesaver. You never know. Because if that doesn't get me far enough, I guess I'm calling CAA and waiting all day for someone to show up. Okay, so we've got some bathroom utensils. I'm going to be adding some more to this tomorrow, like my toothbrush, toothpaste, stuff like that I'll be adding tomorrow. But just for now, I got my, my good old reliable dude wipes, some dental floss, some lip balm, some Tylenol. And I'll read the stuff that's not in that kit yet. Uh, these are just like supplements that I take, B12 and stuff like that, keep the energy up, you know. There's some reading material, uh, some basic camera gear and chargers, extra batteries for the GoPro, that sort of thing. And then we have, uh, I'm going to try and fit this in there and it's just a, a basic uh, thing for holding food. Who knows, if I'm lucky I might be able to fit a can of beer in there. But I just got a little, for a wee little nip, if you want a little nip, not on, not while you're driving, but when you stop for the night, you can have a wee little nip at night. And then honey for the tea, some granola bars, and whatever else. If I if I have some food items, I can stick them in there. Then we've got the drone and all of its kits, the charger for it, the batteries, the SD cards. It's all in here in this uh, handy backpack kit. And then this is my uh, other camera equipment here that we're going to do for if we find a nice scenic tourist location. I don't have to walk around with a GoPro. I'm going to walk around with a real camera and give you some guys some better footage. So that's what I got. As you can tell, I think I'm going to have no problem fitting that into the bike. There might be a few other little things, but that's pretty much to get us started for a uh, up to a week trip. So it's going to go under the seat and of course into the top case. So we'll get that all packed up and I'll show you what that looks like and then we'll upload that later. Now if I look at my list, I've highlighted some things that I haven't included yet. Uh, I'm going to bring some juice, some bread, some margarine, some milk. Like I said, not a lot of groceries, just enough for a snack on the side of the road. Uh, peanut butter, some bottles of water, the tea and stuff like that. Toothbrush, toothpaste. Just want to make sure I don't forget my cell phone and my charger for the cell phone and the, the watch. Other than that, I think we're good to go and uh, hopefully we will ride the north. And then we will experience what no other man has experienced on a bike before, is riding the Great North. And I'll show you how it turns out. This is Forza Man, signing out.